The rail spur plan is to build a short section of new rail line in the Vale of Glamorgan. This will come off the existing rail line between Roos and Barry to go directly into Cardiff Airport where trains will stop. You can see the route the line will take on this map, starting on the Barry side of Porthcarry Viaduct. This map comes from a Vale Glamorgan Council document called the Local Development Plan, released by the Council on the 20th of February 2012. They have granted us, the residents, a consultation period of only six weeks. In the plan, the Council makes a set of proposals for how land in the Vale will be used over the next 15 years. If you live in the Vale of Glamorgan, you have until the 2nd of April 2012 to respond. The Council says that this new railway will be paid for jointly by the Welsh Government and private companies in partnership. However, the Welsh Government has not mentioned this rail spur in its own transport document published in December 2011. The Vale Council says the rail link will be built during the initial phase of a bigger scheme involving a business park and some extra land for Porthcarry Park. But there are big questions about this new rail spur. With only a few trains on the Vale line anyway, the already thin services from Blantwit Major and Roos to Cardiff will come under extra pressure from these airport trains. Will the new rail spur damage train services to Vale communities? Any train going from or to the airport is not going to pass through Lantwit or Roos. Trains travelling on the spur are going to start and stop at the airport. So we can conclude that the new airport service will cut the frequency of services going through Lantwit and Roos stations. The rail spur will inevitably cost the Welsh taxpayer a huge amount of money, whether to build it or to subsidise its running. The Welsh Government hasn't even got this in its transport plan and no one can confirm that it is even budgeted for at the moment. The route of the rail spur goes through ancient woodland and runs through valuable habitats for birds, badgers and bats. It will damage this pristine environment right next to Porthcarry Country Park. A direct rail link won't help Cardiff Airport either. Even this month, March 2012, Airport managers are on record as saying that it's not better rail links that the airport needs, but more and better air routes. The LDP doesn't tell us who the private partner for the spur and business park is. Yet, once the plan is passed, the value of their land will increase. We've lodged a Freedom of Information request for this information. The Council must legally give us an answer in the next three weeks, so as soon as we know, we'll post it online for you. So in summary, the spur looks like a costly, unnecessary proposal that will damage our local train service and the local environment. We're going to look into these issues as soon as possible and we'll give you more information when we have it. If you do want to make your views known, there is a guide to responding to the consultation on our website www.stopthespur.org. You can also discuss the plan with other residents on Facebook. Just go to Facebook and search for Stop the Spur.